from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. It was a warm day in the Deep South, but they also had tornado warnings down in the Deep South for a second day. We had the really cold air up to the north, and we're looking at transitional weather. It's going to take a little bit. Massive storm system up in this area. We have travel advisories across Minnesota, and you say, well, that's Minnesota. Well, it's still a massive storm system there. The severe weather is trying to wind down in the southeast after two nights of tornado watches. We'll probably start to see some of that issue coming up next week. We've had several plumes of fire uh, smoke from the fires. Brandon has been on one of those southwest of uh, areas right around Skytook Lake. Hey, Brandon, if you're with me right now, quick update from your location. Well, Travis, yeah, we're off the Highway 20, just on the southwest side of Skytook Lake. Uh, we've had, uh, on a prescribed burn, we've had wind gusts near 35 miles an hour, and uh, they're watching it. We're watching it, Travis. All right, and again, some of those prescribed burns today, a little scary because of those winds uh, Brandon was just talking about. And uh, we have some wind gusts that have been hanging around 35 to 44 mile per hour winds today. We have wind gusts still at 36 miles per hour. So again, that's not good. It died down for a little bit, came back up as a, a wave of energy is flying through right now. Uh, dew points at 29, humidity is at 34%. Now tonight, those winds are going to be still fairly strong, 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. For a while, we could see some 30 mile per hour winds. And temperatures in the morning, upper 30s to low 40. So chilly, not bad, but with that breeze, it's kind of cold. During the day, a few more clouds and a lot more wind, again, with a back up to 25 to 35 mile an hour winds. And then we do have a chance of a few passing sprinkles, really from Tulsa to the east and east-southeast. So you could catch a few sprinkles or showers, and it's basically cold with those gusty northwest winds. We'll spend a lot of the day in the 50s. And that's a cold start again on Friday morning. Temperatures in the 30s, and then during the afternoon, still chilly. Clouds will gradually end, but look at some of our temperatures on Friday. If we don't clear the clouds out very fast, we're going to stay doggone cold for this late in the season. We should be around 70. Uh, we should rebound to about 60 in Tulsa. The northwest winds will still be hanging in there. And the issue continues to be the potential for wind and dry air, which leads to a fire danger. So winds tomorrow, 30 to 40 miles an hour. Strongest winds up in Osage and also northern Washington County. And you can see some of those wind gusts also have uh, relative humidity, humidities, especially up into Osage County of 20 to 25 percent. So please be careful and uh, don't start any fires you can't control. Uh, Friday is not quite as severe, but still very windy and still very, very dry. And Saturday morning, we have a freeze uh, for some. Uh, so it's, if you put tomato plants out, you'll probably be covering them Friday night. If you try to get a little early start, uh, because this is some seriously chilly weather, one more shot. So frost for many, especially in the colder valleys southeast, you guys could have a frost or near freezing temperatures. Then Saturday afternoon, six star weather, temperatures in the low 70s. 60s will be off in the northeast side of our area, but still back to south winds. Winds will be really strong on Sunday, as we'll see some wind gusts of 35 miles per hour, but this time out of the south. Slight chance of a shower. Arkansas border by late in the afternoon or evening. Monday, threat of severe weather is going to develop for late Monday, Monday night. We'll be in the 70s near area. It'll be very humid again, and we're going to do a similar thing for Tuesday. We're going to have both of those days very warm and windy setting the stage with a storm system out to the west for a threat of some severe weather. Large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. Unfortunately, it is our time for that to happen, so we have to be very much aware. And as we said, we have our storm special tomorrow night at 8. Uh, this storm system, though, that's moving out, it's just taking its time, just a wind, massive wind generator. And then over the weekend, we get this little bump, which is considered a ridge of high pressure, kind of calm, and that's calm before the storm. And then we start to bog down with unsettled weather as this system starts to come in, and some waves of energy start to show up on Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday. And you can even see some snow again up to the north of us. Uh, so there is a threat of a few strong to severe thunderstorms. So get ready because it's that season. All right, forecast looks like this. 43 in the morning. It is cool to chilly, especially if you're on the windy side of the house or garage as you're going out the door. 57 at noontime. Again, the winds are strong, and they're very strong through the afternoon. So it's just a windy period of time for us. Fire danger is definitely elevated to high, especially Tulsa north and west. And as we look on into the extended forecast, great weekend. I got to quit hitting this, but you know, five weekends in a row, that's mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have to pay for that eventually. Uh, but the threat of thunderstorms starts to really increase next week.